In today's episode, we explore one of the most shocking shark attacks in modern times. A 23-year-old man is eaten alive by a huge tiger shark in front of his family and hundreds of beachgoers. The incident was caught entirely on camera. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the horrifying shark attack on Vladimir Popov. Welcome to Final Affliction. As the war in Ukraine raged, 23-year-old Russian Vladimir Popov decided to leave his home country of Russia. He wanted to avoid compulsory conscription into the armed forces. It was not the life he wanted for himself, and his father, Yuri, didn't want his son to risk his life fighting in battle. Because of this, the two of them moved to Egypt. They left behind Vladimir's mother, who remained at the family home in Balashika, near Moscow and Vladimir's girlfriend, Anastasia. They headed to Egypt's Red Sea coast. They were finding their feet, enjoying the quiet life. Vladimir found work online as an IT consultant. It was the perfect way to work remotely from the comfort of his own home. The arrangement seemed to be working for the young man and his father, but it wouldn't be long before tragedy would strike. On the 8th of June, 2023, just months after moving to Egypt, Yuri and Vladimir walked down to the sea next to Dream Beach Hotel at the Egyptian resort of Hergata. This picturesque town stretches for almost 30 miles along the Red Sea coastline. The location is stunning. White and golden sandy beaches line the turquoise waters. Luxury yachts and motorboats moor up just offshore, and holidaymakers soak up the sun from the comfort of their sunbeds. Vladimir thought he had struck gold by moving to such a beautiful location. He entered the water that fateful day, heading out for a swim that was to be his last. The calm sea was inviting, the air temperature warm, and the water cool. Vladimir swam outwards from the beach in the safe swimming zone. Several other bathers were enjoying the water at the same time. Then there was a shout. Someone had seen something. Everyone's worst nightmare was coming true something that we all think about when we enter the water, the clear image of a dorsal fin breaking through the surface. Everyone made a mad dash for the beach, but as Vladimir turned to swim back to shore, he felt a sharp tug on his leg and let out a cry in pain. What followed was a devastating and truly shocking attack. Not often is an animal attack witnessed by hundreds just meters from the victim, but that's exactly what happened to Vladimir. As people heard Vladimir's cries, they stood up from their seats and looked out across the water. Just 20 feet from the beach, Vladimir was being thrashed around by a huge shark. As he was briefly let go, people could see the terrifying dorsal fin circling the young man. Then he was dragged underwater. He fought back, though. He could be seen trying to push the shark away from him. But it was too agile, too quick. It was too powerful. There was a crashing and a bubbling, a boiling of the water as Vladimir was dragged out of sight. The large gray body of the shark arched out of the water. Vladimir's legs were seen kicking in the air above the surface as he was tumbled and turned upside down. He was spun in circles like a washing machine. Then he resurfaced again, dizzied and disoriented. Vladimir began to make a few strokes towards the shore. How terrified he must have felt not being able to see the shark, knowing it was somewhere below him, knowing that it was likely coming back for more, circling around his legs before coming in for the kill. The beach was tantalizingly close. He was surrounded in a cloud of red, his own blood pouring into the Red Sea. He made a few anxious strokes forwards. People could see the nervousness in his body language. They could see he wasn't sure what to do, which way to turn. Vladimir could see his father on dry land. He could see the crowd of people that had gathered at the water's edge, but no one was coming for him. Papa, he cried out, help me. But there was nothing his father could do. A rescue boat was launched by lifeguards as soon as the attack unfolded. They motored towards Vladimir as he bobbed in the water for a few heart-stopping seconds. Then the shadow of the enormous shark emerged beneath him once more. It hadn't finished with him yet. Its jaws opened wide as it came up from below. It grabbed Vladimir again, this time around his torso, and dived deep underwater with the young Russian in its jaws. 
Witnesses reported seeing Vladimir's limp and lifeless body resurface again and again as the shark continued to consume him. Over the next two hours, the shark tormented the crowd, pulling and tugging at Vladimir's body. It was truly a nightmare for everyone involved. A lifeguard by the name of Muhammad reportedly swam towards Vladimir and another tourist in the water during the attack. He could see the water surrounding Vladimir was full of blood. He could see how torn up Vladimir was. As he had raised an arm, Muhammad saw the man's hand was missing. He almost dropped the body back into the sea when he noticed the shark had torn his head off. The shark also ripped apart the man's chest. Huge bites were missing from the abdomen as well. It was the most horrifying sight he has ever seen. It was clear Vladimir had already passed away, so instead, he focused his attention on a tourist woman who was swimming close to Vladimir. She was in a state of shock, barely able to move. Muhammad grabbed her under the arms and pulled her back to the shore. There she was comforted and tended to by beachgoers. When the shark had had its fill, authorities were able to capture it. They dragged long nets out behind speedboats and circled the shark. It became trapped and was pulled to shore. It was an enormous tiger shark measuring 10 feet long. Its distinctive markings were visible across its powerful body. As it was pulled onto the sand, its fate was now sealed. A crowd gathered around to see what a killer shark looks like. Then they began beating it, holding metal bars and wooden sticks. Men began hitting the shark repeatedly across its head and face. The shark attempted to get away, its body powerless on dry land. It flapped its tail and writhed around, desperate for water. After both brutal deaths, the tiger shark was opened up. Inside her stomach were some of Vladimir's remains. It was a gruesome discovery. Vladimir's head and several other body parts were inside the belly. But another discovery may have explained her aggressive behavior and the reason for the devastating attack. Inside her were baby sharks. Tiger sharks lay eggs internally, which then hatch inside the mother. The babies survive inside her until they are ready to be born around 16 months later. Marine expert and fellow Russian Dmitry Orlov came to his own conclusion about what happened and why the shark attacked Vladimir. He believed that being so large and heavily overloaded, her typical prey may have been too quick for her. It was far easier for her to hunt humans who were relatively slow and defenseless in the water. However, biologically and ecologically, this doesn't seem to make sense. But Dmitri believed that his tiger shark was no stranger to human flesh. The year before Vladimir's death, a tiger shark attacked two female tourists, an Austrian and a Romanian, in the same location. Other experts have claimed that the shark's behavior may have been influenced by the rising sea temperatures of the Red Sea. She could have been migrating to the Gulf of Suez and cooler waters. Following the attack, Yuri spoke of his son's death. He held no grudge against the Egyptian government and remarkably said that it was tragically Vladimir's destiny to be eaten by the shark. An unusual comment, but one that likely made dealing with his son's death easier to handle. Back in Russia, Vladimir's mother learned of the terrible events. Her son had moved to Egypt to avoid a premature death. He had his whole life ahead of him, and now his mother's world came crashing down. After the forensic examination of Vladimir's body and his remains, Yuri was given permission to cremate him and return the ashes to his homeland of Russia, Vladimir's final resting place. As for the shark, authorities wanted the huge specimen preserved Perhaps it could serve as some form of education for visiting tourists and locals alike. A team of five embalming experts took on the task of mummifying the shark so that it could be put on display in the local museum. The Red Sea has been plagued by shark attacks over the decades. Maybe now it is time to do something about them, as overfishing is removing sharks' prey sources such as large fish like tuna. They turned to other potential prey to satiate their appetite. Moving closer to shore, these incredible predators are more likely to attack again than ever before. Perhaps the Red Sea resorts should install shark nets to protect bathers, a tactic that has proved effective in other parts of the world. Following Vladimir's attack, the beaches were closed. The sea emptied as tourists left the resorts. 
But a couple of days later, the local government deemed the waters safe again. Speedboats and safety divers maintained a presence along the coastline to reassure visitors and to continue to scout for any potential dangers. But how long will it be before people forget about this tragic event? How long will it be before disaster strikes again? Before another innocent swimmer meets their terrifying final affliction?